Good morning dear friends, especially I am shooting this video for all the principals, faculty members and the managements, those who are directly or indirectly involved with the pharmacy education. So today's video, I am planning to give a certain kind of information I would like to share with you is for quite a while, for a long time you are serving the pharmacy profession and continuous endeavor towards the creating the pharmacy students for the society. So I am heartily thanks for whatever activities that you are doing. I just would like to introduce myself. My name is Nitesh and I was working as a pharmacist in overseas. So I have a global perspective about the pharmacy profession and I'm in India for the last seven, eight years, we are dealing with the pharmacy students. So my main objective is to help up to certain extent to the development of pharmacy profession and to the pharmacy students. So all of us, we have the same objective. The objective is clearly defined in two main terms. One is the students. Another one is the society. So our main objective is to create the students, those who are going to become the responsible citizens and make the positive contribution in the society. And the second important thing is, with this respect, the students must get very good financial rewards. So this kind of things we are trying to implement in India. You are also doing work from your end. I'm also doing work from my end. But if we are going to merge together and we are going to make some kind of collective efforts, then definitely we can reach at our objective. So what model I would like to discuss here is if the students and the society ultimately these are the two elements that we are focusing on so we have to create something like this this process will be facilitated by the institutes that means the colleges okay so the pharmacy colleges are going to play important role in between the students and society connection and all the principals faculty members they are going to work as a catalyst so these are the facilitators facilitators main role is helping the students and preparing them as per the need of the society and create the social entrepreneurship and the social enterprise creation um, mindsets in the students so how we are going to achieve these entire objectives and we can make a massive positive contribution in the pharmacy profession in India and also how we are going to make the positive contribution in the personal life of the pharmacy students of India. So there are three most important things we have to keep in mind. The first thing is the students should have a broadened understanding about the pharmacy profession, broad understanding of pharmacy profession. Second important thing is the students must have a required skills and competencies to meet this need. And the third important thing is we have to inculcate inculcate social values in the pharmacy students. So if we are going to manage to complete this three broad spectrum of the objectives, then definitely we are going to create our pharmacy students in such a way that they are going to become a very good contributor of the society and they are going to make a positive change in the society. So eventually the, what society can give us, society is going to give us a rewards to the pharmacy. And the second important thing is, the students are going to get the satisfaction the what work they are doing for the betterment of the society. So all these are the theories that we are discussed, but how we have an action plan, how we are going to achieve these objectives. So what kind of steps we have to follow to reach our objectives. So I think this elements, the broaden the understanding of the pharmacy profession can be achieved by creating the seminars. So seminars on the different subjects are going to give a wide variety of understanding 
among the pharmacy students in a different areas like for example the currently students are not that much thinking about the nutraceutical science patient care clinical pharmacy compounding what kind of patient management pharmacy options are there and how the pharmacist can work in pharmacogenetic segment so these kind of things need to be broadened up so when the students are studying at that time their bindings towards the study that means the compliance towards the study will be increased in such a way that and that can help them to build their bright future the second thing is we have to create certain kind of workshops so those workshops are mainly focused on the case study base our role plays and also the brainstorming activities with the other students will give them an opportunity to express their skills and competencies so these two kind of activities seminars and workshops so we are periodically organizing the seminars and workshops on 25 different subjects so that covered the pretty much entire pharmacy segment and we are doing this kind of activities almost at free of cost we are spending our time we are investing our resources the sole objective is to create the competent pharmacist and make the positive contribution in the society so this kind of activities we are doing and how we are inculcate and the combine like the students and society integration process can be achieved while the students are studying at that time we are going to create some sort of research activities so the students get opportunities to go out from the classroom and they go to the society and when they are doing their research project at the society that can tap up their empathetic behavior and that empathetic behavior is going to give them an opportunity to understand about the what kind of problems are in the market what kind of problems are in the society and this kind of problems will tap their entrepreneurship skills and they can come up with the social entrepreneur the second important thing is when the student is start getting understanding about the what level of requirement of my profession in the society that can tap their learning process as well so the students are not only limiting themselves into the learning something while they are in the classroom or while they are studying in the book but they are 365 days in 24 7 they are in the learning mode once they can understand what need to be done because we are living in the area where it's called the information age so is the information is not limited but how to compile and synthesize the information is the challenge so once the student is start getting understanding about the what kind of things they need definitely they are going to find out the information and they can start synthesizing so our role here is just to facilitate and provide them a support so the students can grow and the colleges can provide the platform to execute these entire activities so my humble request to all the principals and the staff members give us an opportunity to express our views and ideas so the students ultimately can get a benefit so far in last around about 7 years we have made a positive contribution in more than thousands of students and some of our students are in a very good positions they are less than 25 year old and they are earning almost more than 1 lakh dollar per year so that kind of achievements we have done especially for the students those who are going to abroad but we are not at this position to make the contribution in the students those who are living in india so we have decided we also want to help them so they can make a better career and we are the only consultancy in entire india is focusing on the only one element go to abroad get knowledge earn something get your citizenship come back to india india needs you so thank you very much for um, uh watching this video and give us an opportunity uh you can find all the information related of a company is a pharma vision and uh, we can personally come and meet you uh we are more than happy to organize this kind of seminars and workshops at your institutes and also we are going to design the research project for your students so the students are also going to become the integral part of the community research related programs if you want to talk to me uh you can find my personal number you can find our facebook page also you can get our websites and all the information has been provided uh in this video and please give us an opportunity to express something and we can collectively work together 
and we can make a positive change in the society. Thank you very much for your cooperation. Thanks. Bye-bye.